हेलो फ्रेंड्स एंड वेलकम बैक टू ऑनलाइन स्पोकन इंग्लिश क्लास इन दिस मॉड्यूल वी शैल लर्न द पार्ट्स ऑफ अ सेंटेंस अ सेंटेंस हैज टू पार्ट्स सब्जेक्ट एंड प्रेडिकेट लुक एट द फॉलोइंग सेंटेंसेस एंड रिपीट देम आफ्टर मी बर्ड्स फ्लाई My mother is a teacher. In the first sentence, birds fly. What are we speaking about? We are speaking about birds. So, birds is the subject in this sentence. Next sentence is my mother is a teacher here we are speaking about my mother so in this sentence my mother is the subject so what is the subject please repeat after me the part of a sentence which names the person or thing we are speaking about is called the subject of the sentence we read in the previous slide that what we speak about in the sentence is called subject we can also find the subject of a sentence by picking the verb and asking the question who or what let us see the first example my teacher is punctual and regular so we pick out the verb and ask the question who or what so what is the verb in this sentence it is is so we ask the question who is punctual and regular the answer is my teacher so my teacher is the subject now look at the other example my blue pen is in my bag what is the verb in this sentence is so we ask the question what is in my bag the answer is my blue pen my blue pen is in the bag so my blue pen is the subject here isn't it very simple to find subject in any sentence of course it is let us take the same examples again birds fly we just saw birds is the subject because we are saying about birds but what are we saying about the birds is that they fly so here fly is the predicate now see in the same way in the other sentence my mother is a teacher my mother is the subject and what is said about my mother that she is a teacher so is a teacher is the predicate in this sentence please repeat after me a predicate is that part of a sentence which tells something about the subject or you can understand in a simpler way that what we say about the subject is called the predicate
द प्रेडिकेट पार्ट हैज वर्ब एज इट्स नेसेसरी कॉम्पोनेंट एंड वेन वी नो दिस इट बिकम्स ईजियर टू डिस्टिंग्विश द सब्जेक्ट एंड द प्रेडिकेट इन द सेंटेंस लुक एट सम अदर एग्जाम्पल्स लेट इस फाइंड आउट द सब्जेक्ट एंड द प्रेडिकेट इन दीज सेंटेंसेस फर्स्ट सेंटेंस इज स्टार्स ट्विंकल इन द स्काय हियर वी टॉक अबाउट स्टार्स सो स्टार्स इज द सब्जेक्ट एंड वॉट आर वी सेइंग अबाउट स्टार्स दैट द ट्विंकल इन द स्काय सो ट्विंकल इन द स्काय इज द प्रेडिकेट नाउ लेट इस सी द अदर एग्जाम्पल Priya is a good dancer. Here Priya is the subject and is a good dancer is the predicate. The next sentence is the children are playing in the field. Here the subject is the children and are playing in the field. is the predicate now the last sentence is he is a good boy we can ask the question who is a good boy the answer is he so he is the subject and is a good boy is the predicate please pay attention to these two sentences and repeat after me banana is my favorite fruit my favorite fruit is banana we see that same meaning is conveyed in both the sentences that my favorite fruit is banana did you notice what am i wanting to convey yes you got it the same word banana is the subject in the first sentence and predicate in the second sentence so we can say that the same word can be a subject or a predicate in different situation or sentences repeat these key points after me usually the subject of a sentence comes first and then the predicate The subject is a noun or pronoun. The subject as well as predicate may consist of a single or many words. Notice these sentences and speak after me. Here comes the bus. In the forest lived a lion. We have read in the previous slides that subject comes first and then comes the predicate. But look at these sentences. In the first example, you must have noticed that the bus is the subject and here comes is the predicate. And so we see that predicate comes first and then the subject. Now in the second sentence in the forest lived a lion the subject is a lion and the predicate is in the forest lived so we can say that it is usually the subject which comes first and then the predicate but sometimes the subject can come after the predicate let us see what we learned in this module we learned that the part of a sentence which names the person or thing we are speaking about is called the subject of the sentence a predicate is that part of a sentence which tells something about the subject there has to be a verb in the predicate in the next module 
वी शैल डील विद द टाइप्स ऑफ सेंटेंसेस